Uh, Your Excellency, thank you very much for joining us today in the afternoon. We're very excited to have you for uh, this special briefing today with the Managing Director of the United Nations Technology Bank for List Developing Countries. We're very excited to have you here today, Mr. Joshua, and thank you for joining us. Um, also, I want to welcome uh, this, uh, the Director General for Smart Africa for joining us today and the country representative for JRZ in Rwanda. Thank you for both for joining us today uh, for this uh, briefing. Um, before we jump into the conversation, let me give everybody a little bit of the agenda. Um, our, our, our moderator today, Anna, uh, the country economist for, from International Growth Center, she will jump into the conversation uh, with, with Mr. Joshua for the first 20 minutes. And the last 20 minutes will open for questions from you, Your Excellency. So we hope that uh, we'll get an interesting conversation going on with questions from, from you, Your Excellencies. And of course, if you can turn the video on, it's always good to see who you're talking to. So if you turn, if you turn the video on, wonderful so Mr. Joshua could see uh, the, uh, the audience. Anyway, without taking long, I want to welcome the Ambassador of Turkey uh, to make a few remarks before we jump to the conversation. Ambassador, your floor, the floor is yours. Yes, good afternoon, everybody. Uh, and thank you, Yannick. Uh, I would like to also, you know, welcome everybody joining this uh, conversation this afternoon. Uh, I'm taking just the floor because we are hosting the UN Technology Bank in Turkey, in Istanbul, in Gebze. And personally, it's my pleasure, of course, to contribute personally as embassy uh, because my assistant Ingrid is now working together with the UN Technology Bank, she left me, unfortunately. But it's a good opportunity today uh, to welcome everybody. And uh, you know, Turkey has hosted UNLDC4 in Istanbul in 2011. And our, it was our commitment uh, to establish the UN Technology Bank in Istanbul at that time. Uh, our president committed uh, himself. And I'm very happy that we have made it happen. And now UN Technology Bank is in operation. And also, uh, Turkey is voicing the concerns of the LDCs in all platforms. And uh, it's our pleasure also to work together with UN in, um, in contributing to the sustainable development of the LDCs. And we believe that for future agenda, it will be very important for everybody to have uh, the to increase the production capacity of the LDCs and to ensure their uh, economic transformation, and we believe that UN Technology Bank will uh, play an important role in this process. And we are very much looking forward to UN LDC five in Qatar. And uh, I, I also have to underline that you know this UN Technology Bank is running its operations through voluntary contributions, and we are very much expecting the contribution of all partners uh, in the very successful work of the UN Technology Bank. So I just want to welcome everybody, greet everybody from Kigali. And uh, I just would like to thank also the Kigali Foreign Affairs Council for organizing this briefing for everybody. I'm, I'm sure it's going to be a very nice discussion and everybody will be benefiting a lot. I thank you so much, Yannick. Thank you. Thank you, Excellences. Wonderful. So, Anna, the floor is yours. Thank you. Thank you, Yannick, and thank you for having me here today. Hello, everyone. Thank you for taking the time uh, to attend this event. And before we start, I just thought it would be nice to get to know Mr. Satipa a bit more before we dive into the, the details of what he's working on. And I can summarize it quite simply. Mr. Satipa has been a very busy man <laughs> prior to his role at the uh, UN Technology Bank. So before taking up his position, he was at the World Bank as a senior consultant on trade facilitation. I work on trade here at the International Growth Center. So it's an area that's near and dear to my heart. Um, he has also had experience in public service, serving as the Minister of Trade and Industry for the government of Lesotho from 2015 to 2017. He also served as the Chief Executive Officer of the Lesotho National Development Corporation, where he led investment mobilization for Lesotho. He's also had a stint at the World Trade Organization as Senior Advisor to the Director General and he's also been busy academically, and I won't go into listing all his academic credentials, but it's 
safe to say we're very honored to have you here, Mr. Satipa. We're looking forward to an exciting conversation. I will take Mr. Satipa through a series of questions and we'll open up for a Q&A. So I'm just going to dive straight in. Mr. Satipa, can you just give us an overview of the UN Technology Bank's motivations for setting this up and its current mission under your leadership as Managing Director? Well, thank you very much. Uh, for this opportunity, let me also thank the Kigali uh, Foreign Affairs Council for, for this opportunity. It's my first uh, uh, opportunity to, to, to participate in one of its events. Of course, I wish I was in Kigali in person. It's, uh, it's been a long time since one was in Kigali, but uh, this will pass and we'll get another opportunity, I'm sure, in the near future. I should also thank the Excellency, the Ambassador of Turkey, for their kind words about, uh, and also, of course, reconfirm uh, the Turkish support to the Technology Bank uh, from day one up to today. The Turkish government uh, from its highest uh, level is the biggest support of the Technology Bank. Everything uh, that we need, we always get support and also mobilizing continued support for the LDCs uh, has been a, a constant uh, feature of uh, our engagement uh, with the uh, authorities in Ankara. And I, I should also say to the ambassador that uh, not only is Turkey the biggest supporter for the Technology Bank, but also that your office personally has supported the creation of the bank because we have one of your former staff members, Ingrid, in our office. And for that, uh, we are grateful and uh, we, we continue to enjoy her, 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 her support to our work. The Technology Bank was established formally in 2016 uh, following the... the the Istanbul uh, Fourth UN Minister uh, Conference, UN Conference on LDCs, and the rationale for the establishment of the bank was a straightforward one. Unless there was a deliberate effort by the international community and development partners across the board to direct uh, support towards the LDCs to help them close the gap that was widening between them and the rest of the world from a technology point of view. 